Hey people, Zara Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 4 of Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we did a Manta Ray Surfing Galaxy, in which we surfed on a Manta Ray, we proved we weren't a Shuby, and we got a Power Star. Then we went to another galaxy, where we basically ran around some switches, turning them off from blue to yellow, got another Power Star. Then we went to the Honeycomb Gal- the Honey Hive Galaxy, we basically got another star, and we also basically got- Yay a star from a Hungry Luma Galaxy, the Sweet Sweet Galaxy. And then we went, ended things off by defeating our first boss, Metal Eggs, a giant robot that Bowser Jr. sent after us. And we got another Grand Star. Now anyways, let's head over and basically complete the Honey Hive Galaxy, at least for the time being. Okay, go inside. And Honey Hive Galaxy. We're actually going to be starting things off with another boss. So let's get going. Okay, next boss. Big bad bugaboom. Okay, let's get going. Now, this is actually a pretty cool boss fight just because I like the music that they play when you're fighting him. Anyways, you can see the bugs are invading. The manda bugs are invading after basically what we did last time to them. And we got the big boulders back. Hooray! Yeah, they're on the attack. Yeah, I like the music that they play at this section. Anyways, ground pound them, you get star bits like last time. Boom, there we go. Dead. He is dead. Okay, nice. Let's just stand here and just keep getting them. Boom. Another one. Another one. And this should be the last one. Boom. Okay, there we go. Let's get going. Let's keep moving. Grab more stars. I always like grabbing them. Come on. Boom, another one. Love doing that, I swear. Okay, anyways, we get bubbles. Use the bubbles, and you can basically move to new places that you wouldn't be able to normally reach. Okay. I don't... No, I want to go into the bubble. Don't spin in the bubble, because otherwise you will be free from the bubble. No, come on. Well, he's going down into the abyss. Okay, let's smack you down. I thought you could escape? Well, you can't. Because I got the homing jump on my side. The homing jump is... Okay, at least he didn't knock me off the ledge. I did not see him there. Well, at least we got revenge on him. So anyways, let's get move on. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, doot. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, got another one. Nice. But you know, I can't believe that I'm playing Mario Galaxy. I mean... It's one of those games that basically I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to do this one day. But then, that day is finally come, and we're finally doing it. I, just, I can't believe it. Yeah, we can still ground bound as a bee, thankfully, so that's good. Okay, let's search around. Okay, take you out. And into the water we go. Love how basically Mario is just so weak to water when in his bee form. But then again, I mean, that is common for bees. I mean, you don't see a swimming bee. Look, can you imagine a water bee? That would just be scary. Frankly, I will admit it right now that I actually do have a fear of bees. I mean, I just don't do well with bees. I mean, they've always just freaked me out. I mean, I'm always afraid of getting stung. It plays to my fear of needles. Also, basically, one of the reasons for that being that just when I was a little kid, basically, I was running around barefoot in the grass, and I actually stepped on a bee, which caused me to get stung. So, which was all in me getting stung, and I was basically this, and I was, just, and I felt so betrayed by the bee. The bee, I know, I get the bee was trying to defend itself, but basically, I was like, why is the bee stinging me? I didn't try to hurt him, and then just all of a sudden, bee is just, I'm like, okay, I can't trust bees anymore. They're all out to get me. The neighbors are causing trouble again for the damn tree! They're allowing the property values, Mario! You have to do something! We would be most grateful for your assistance! Anyways, a nice simple mission. Let's get going. How are this tree? Okay, got another mushroom. Okay, let's head over here. Fly over, don't fall into the black hole. That's just lurking in this galaxy. Okay, nice, nice. And meet our boss, Bugaboom. Yeah, basically Bugaboom. 
he will basically attack by, well, trying to charge you at first. But then, after you hit him once, he takes to the sky. And we have to defeat him from the air. So anyways, Bugaboo. The main thing with him is just wait for him to be near you. And then land, hor and then fail. Yeah, I really like the music that plays, because just, it gives off this vibe of action, you know? Yeah, you can land on him and then boom. And now he's really pissed. Yeah, he's gonna be doing loop-de-loops. Okay. Yeah, he's doing evasive maneuvers, but darn it, we are not gonna lose out. Okay, yeah, you can't do the homing shot, apparently. That is not a B technique. Okay. Boom, there we are, we won. Bugaboo is dead, and we got our next power star. And now we can move on to the to the fountain dome and the galaxies that it has at its disposal. So, with that said, power star. Yeah. Now, anyways, if you're thinking that the game is moving relatively slow, then don't worry. It is actually going to be speeding up. Thanks to me. Because missions about this length are going to become the new normal. And I love how we're we now have a new found galaxy. Okay, let's get going out. Okay. Let's get a move on. Do, 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 do. Into the teleporter. And we will go out and see things I don't even know. Okay, hello, yeah, this guy's already here. Okay, let's go to this galaxy first, because it's one of those one-offs. Rolling green, eh, rolling green galaxy. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I've just been talking lately. I mean, just last night I was streaming, and now I'm doing this playthrough today. <coughs> I can only imagine what the stream tonight's gonna be like. Anyways, rolling in the clouds, rolling at the speed of sound. Let's do this. Okay, as you can see, we already have the star. Though, we have to actually move over that hole. So, let's get going. Okay, with this one, it's all about the tilt. It's all about the moving around. Too bad we can't move normally. Okay. Let's go. Hey, hey now, hey now. If you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you'd better listen to old Billboard here. First, jump to get on top of the ball. Don't run away from me, asshole. All right, you're on. Now, try to match the guide on, how to, on the bottom right. Okay, uh, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, uh, what, what are you hoping for me to accomplish? Okay, resting position. Right, that's it. That's what we call the basic position. Oh, stop with the basic position. For that basic position, tilt and jump with B. If anything gets your way, smash it. Anyways, you'll learn more by doing it yourself. Good luck. Well, now they're not forcing us to basically deal with a thousand tutorials of how to turn to the right. Anyways, the music is actually based on, the tempo of the music is actually based on how fast you're rolling the ball. Okay, come on, go in the hole. Yeah, let's do it. Do I go risk or do I go risk or no? Okay, I'm not deserving of nice things apparently because I don't know how to tilt properly. Okay. I love how I have to basically be so cautious with the tilt. Okay, this is gonna be the episode of me trying to basically live with a ball. Okay. Head on in. Come on. Go in. Go in. D -d 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 -d. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to try that again. Okay. No. No. Ah. Come on. Okay, yeah, really. Doing it with this format is gonna be a bit of a pain, but I, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Okay, good, good, good. We're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, we made it. 
There it is, end of the galaxy. Hole in one. Okay. Let's go up that pole and let's claim our next star. Star number 12. We're actually almost 10%. We actually finished 10% of the stars in the game, if you can believe that. Yeah, we're just zooming on by. Four episodes in, 10% of the way through. And it's only going to get faster and faster with each passing galaxy, because there are going to be plenty of galaxies where it's just, oh wait, here's one star. Okay, galaxy complete. Discover new galaxy. No, I'm not saying the game. And... We could go to this galaxy right here, the Battle Rock Galaxy. Or we could go to basically the Space Junk Galaxy. We'll go to the Space Junk first because that's the first galaxy you can go to. Plus I find the Space Junk Galaxy to be a lot more interesting to be a lot more interesting than basically the Battle Rock Galaxy. Heck, heck the, basically the Space Junk Galaxy has the, does the SS Dolphin there. I mean, what's more, what more could you ask for? Yeah, Omar died and his ship is just floating around in space. It's now space debris. Okay, let's get it going. Calming music as we basically make our way through. Yeah, just all that soothingness. Okay, let's go. And over here, let's spin you, take you out. Yeah, but you know, I've always found this galaxy to be very soothing, you know? Just love the general vibe of it. It just, it gives off that calm vibe, just the, the tranquility of space. It really just captures that perfectly. Just like, I love the stars that you see in the background. Okay, let's grab these star pieces, these star shards, star pieces, pieces of star, shards of star. Okay, let's grab that. Don't run in a circle, Mario. I, running in a circle is not going to benefit us. It's going to benefit no one. Okay, grab that. Okay, nice. Okay, let's get going. Okay, we'll get that. Nice. Okay, more stars. More star shards, and we're running on the SS Dolphin. The SS Dolphin is now just a th is now debris. Though that kind of makes you wonder just what's just what Olimar is like in this universe, because basically Mario is able to run on this ship, and it is larger than him. Even though Olimar is stated to be only three centimeters high, I mean he's about as tall as a GameCube controller. So let's get going. Yeah, basically try to. Try a master doing this quickly because we are going to be having to do a mission which will require us to move quickly. Okay. No. Ah, no. Okay, that was horrible. That was a mess, all right. Okay. Yeah, try and move quickly. Just try and do that. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's do that. And we are here. Okay, let's destroy these spiders. Get some extra star bits out of it. Okay. Boom. Nice. I'm sorry if I seem a little speed run obsessed. It's just I'm the kind of guy where I like to make progress, you know? Just nothing really it really excites me more than just the prospect of just going through a game and then just zipping right through. Let's free you these guys. Yeah, don't free the Goombas. Don't free the enemies. Don't free anything. I'll free that Goomba, just so I can kill the Goomba and take his star pieces. His star shards will be mine. Okay, that will give us Captain Toad. Captain Toad's not going to bother saving his friends unless, basically, they're all freed. Okay, did not realize. Yeah, ow, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's try to get at least 100 out of this. Okay, there we are. Good. Yeah, frankly, like I said, it may be a bit of a pain to collect star pieces, but it, but basically you are going to need them for Hungry Lumas. Okay, let's go. Now, this is our first Silver Star mission. Collect five Silver Stars and you will basically get your star. It's just like Mario 64 DS. Okay. First star. Okay. Second star. Okay. 
Now, let's go up here. Okay, just take this little turret fork in the road. Yeah, basically, they don't dis- Basically, the platforms appear as you approach them. So basically, it's not like you're timed or anything. We're gonna be getting a timed mission for this later on, but that'll be later on. Okay, let's head over here. And final one. The five silver stars unite in order to form our regular power star. Okay, let's go. Okay. Don't fall down. Don't die. Yeah, easier said than done, because basically you can die to the littlest of things. Such as getting knocked in the face by a boulder and then careening off a ledge. The greatest way to die. Okay, got our first star in this galaxy. And oh, we're actually going to be getting our... I think we're actually going to be getting our introduction to that special mission type. 13 coins, 13 stars. Yep, sure enough, we're getting our introduction. It seems that Prankster Comet has appeared somewhere. Pra Prankster Comets have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comets, ask the Luma who knows about such things. Okay, basically, Prankster Comets, they will appear at random in galaxies once you unlock the mission for them. Once you complete the mission they're associated with. This Gooma right here, he's useful in that basically he can move around Prankster Comets if you basically, you want to try to cause one to spawn that you haven't had yet and that you're getting horrible luck. Frankly, these Prankster Comets are relatively random with how they spawn. Anyways, Prankster Comets, they come in, a, in they come in several varieties. For one thing, we have the Speedy Comet. The Speedy Comet, basically, it will give you an extra star, but you have to move quickly. If you don't move quickly, then basically guess what? You die and it doesn't end nicely for you. But basically, it's an extra star, and basically, you... And the mission isn't too bad, basically. This is gonna be the very first mission. Yeah, by the way, you can't repeat any missions while a comm is in effect. So, yeah, you're kinda stuck with this one. So yeah, Dino Piranha Speedrun. As you can see, basically, this galaxy is coated within a, in, a, an ominous red glow. And we have a, basically, a speed theme. Okay, anyways, we have a set time limit, so we gotta get moving. As much as I want to basically go and basically collect star bits, we, it is more important to actually get this done. Okay, yeah, save that Luma, don't bother talking to him. Yeah, the bolts are replaced with Chain Chomp, so yeah, no going around smashing them, even though you really wouldn't want to. Okay. Yeah, don't get caught in the muck. Don't get caught in the grime. I was about to say, yeah, I, I say that as I'm about to get with a ch in the face of the chain chomp. Okay. Yeah, go across the peanut galaxy. The peanut planet. The peanut gallery planet. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go. Let's get over the peanuts. Come on, I want to get past this peanut gallery planet. Okay. Good. Okay, next one. Okay, nice. Let's get going. Go, 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 go. Yeah, basically, when it comes to these speedy comments, basically, don't focus too, too much on the time. Okay, yeah. If you take a hit, don't worry. Just, it, you can easily just get back up. Just get back up on your feet and then just go. Go, go, go. Yeah, frankly, they are at least a little merciful with the time, granted. I mean, this isn't the worst speedy comment in this Speedy Comet is not all that bad in this game. No, the Speedy Comet only really gets awful in Mario Galaxy 2 in regards to basically the, in regards to one of the galaxies. Because just, they get absolutely brutal with that one. Just because they just act like, oh hey, you have no real, you have time, you can basically, if you, you can react to it fast enough. But anyways, let's get going, go, 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 go. Okay, go. Go up here, smash that, and... Okay, we should be heading off. Okay, yeah, we're, we're almost there, we're almost there. And... Wabay! Okay, we've got this. Dino Piranha is a relatively easy boss to fight. All you gotta do, as I say before, go around, smack in the head, he roars, and then all you gotta do is just boom, 
Yeah, you can actually defeat him in technically less than five seconds. Okay, boom. Okay, no, 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 no. And there we go, boom. He's dead, and now we can go get our stall. A new star for a new mission. And by the way, you can't just lo you can't just lounge around after basically unlocking the star. The timer's not stopping until you grab that star. So grab that star, waste no time in getting it, and you'll be fine. There are other comet stars, so basically be on the lookout for them. Yeah, we'll be seeing the other types soon enough. Okay, got a few extras. Okay, no, I'm not gonna save the game. Okay, now let's get out of here, shall we? Because we've got plenty more galaxies to get. Okay, we'll head back to the Battle Rock Galaxy and basically do another mission there. And then I think it would actually be a good time for us to end the episode off, but let's do that mission first. Okay, let's get going. Okay, rolling green, Space Junk Galaxy. Let's head out. Space Junk Galaxy, star 15. Let's get going. Okay, Camilla's airship attack. Which will introduce a new mechanic to the game. Shells. Uh, we'll see the shells when we actually get there. Yeah, look at the Koopa just lurking on the deck. The Koopas have lost their bipedal nature that they had in Mario 64. Basically, they are now quadrupeds once again. Okay. Going. Yeah, Bowser's airships in space. As you get to hear that epic airship music. Break in there, break in. I want to knock on the door. I want to sell you stuff. Okay, boom. You out. Hey, I know that basically grabbing star bits can be a bit of a chore, but basically it's either you grab them now or you're going to have to grind for them later. And frankly, grinding for them later is never fun. Okay. Yeah, even though basically I can get a little addicted with just trying to grab them all that I all the star pieces that I get, come across. Okay, no, 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 don't fall down, Mario. Don't fall down, not into the pit, the void of space. Though, frankly, I mean, Mario falls into space. I mean, it's not, frankly, how is it that Mario can just fall in the middle of space? Jump and spin. Though I could also back, though I can basically also hop backwards. I can long jump, I mean, I don't need to jump and spin. In fact, I move a little farther if I long jump. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's smack you down. Yeah, send you off the ledge. Send you off the cliff. Okay, let's smack you. Smack you. As you can see, there is a cat. There is a magic Koopa over there. Magic Koopas are one of the few enemies in this game where basically, no matter how you kill them, they will always drop a coin. So basically, don't try to stun him and don't try to do anything like that. Okay, sit on one of these platforms and boom basically get a bunch of things and even more star bits. Hooray! Another life. I love how we're already up to 40 lives. Anyways, when you grab a shell, basically, you'll toss it straight ahead. So basically, just don't worry about aiming. You're just gonna throw it no matter what. Okay. Boom. Now it gets a coin. Basically, if you're near a shell and you spin, you will the shell will automatically lock on you. Yeah, shells are also pretty good projectiles against enemies. If you see a flame, feel free to spin it. It'll extinguish the flame, and you can get some goodies from it, such as coins. Okay. Yeah, look how Mario struggling to lift the shell. Okay, let's get going. Okay, there's Camilla's ship over there. That's how you know she's high in Bowser's army. Yeah, basically, Kami Koopa basically getting her 3D appearance in the series. Okay. Let's go. Head on in. Yeah, let's take Bowser ship down from the inside. Okay, good. Grab all those beautiful, beautiful star shards. And star pieces. Okay, yeah, knock on the door. Yeah, who's home? No one's home. Mario's only home. Okay. 
yeah, these guys are always going to be spitting fire. And I love how pissed off the Koopas look in this. Just look how pissed off these guys are. Well, you'd be pissed too if basically you lost the ability to use two legs. You're basically forced to walk on the ground. Your hand's always on the ground. You know, Bowser's is still, still a bipedal creature. Bowser's forcing the Koopas to walk on all fours. Anyways, Red Shells, like in Mario Kart, they will seek they will seek out the nearest enemy. Very handy. You don't have to aim them like a green shell. And there we go. Let's get going. And there is Cammy's ship right up there. Yeah, Cammy and her fancy red velvet ship. Okay, for Cammy's fight. Basically, she'll summon fireballs. You just gotta dodge out of the way for fireballs. And when she summons the green, grab it. And then basically run around. Oh, come on, I had it right there. Okay. There we go. Cammy can only be damaged with chills. Oh, come on, I threw it. I threw that shell at her. Yeah, Cammy's revenge. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. Yeah, Cammy and her badass boss theme. Kind of odd out. This is Cammy's only appearance in the 3D Mario games, basically. Being in Mario Galaxy 1. Granted, Cammy does have two boss fights. Okay, come on, Cammy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now Cammy's gonna send in her lackeys. Okay, take you out. Ah, okay, I thought I spun, but I did not spin. Okay, yeah, when Cammy, okay, yeah, there, there's that noise. Okay, Cammy's just gonna summon out some more fireballs, no problem. Okay. Nope. Yeah, there we go, last hit, and Cammy is dead. And we get the power star she was using. Win win for everyone. Except Cammy, that is. Nice. And we left a toad frozen. We left some toads frozen. Yeah, no toad left behind my ass. The toads have all, have all been left behind. 15. Discover a new galaxy. Enemy base spotted. We are detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? Well, we'll maybe discover that in the next episode. But regardless, for the time being, I think now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.